ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 with Zebu Nation. And we are back once again. Wings of Glory with LAFC. And this time we have lived up to our name, at least the name of this series, the Wings of Glory, because we have reached the glory of the playoffs. The wild card round versus FC Dallas. Something that nobody thought we'd be able to do this season as a uh, expansion team. Our very first season coming from the ground up. From Remember our very first video, we had four players on the entire roster. And now we've got a roster worthy of finishing in 10th place in the Supporter Shield. Look at that. That's pretty good. We were predicted to finish bottom of the league. Our board expected us to finish bottom of the league. And here we are 10th. In the league, you know, beating out the likes of Houston and Sporting Kansas City, Chicago, Seattle, all of these established teams, even some of our fellow expansion teams like Atlanta United, we beat them out. Minnesota beat them out as well. So it's an excellent, excellent season. Uh, we can take a look at the stats real quick, team stats. Yeah, team stats, uh, LA Galaxy scored the most goals in the league. We were nowhere to be found on that. Most headers, yeah, we're not going to be on too many of these lists. Average possession, we didn't possess the ball very much. Tackles won, eighth in the league in tackles won, 77% ratio. Better than nothing, I suppose. Least concessions, nope, not there. So we didn't do this in the conventional way. Shutouts, now Houston is number one in shutouts. Most fouls, fifth place, so I guess we fouled our way to victory. But other than that, there's no conventional stats that tell you how did we make the playoffs. How did we win this? We hit, we hit the target. That's pretty good. Second in the league, basically tied for first in the league with shots on target. So we were efficient. With our scoring, when we when we got the opportunities, we at least got the shots on target. We can take a look at our squad, and you can see how that kind of plays out. In that uh, we got goals from every position. Everybody on the board scored for us, and we had no real dominant scorer. Pacheco led our way, the right winger with seven goals. Cavea, our left winger, had six goals. Uh, Delgado, our Central midfielder, our ball-winning midfielder, had six goals, was our tied for our second leading scorer on the league. Vela, the guy we paid a lot of money for, we're paying him, you know, five million bucks a season. He got five goals for us, a million dollars a goal. So not great out of him, but, you know, he had injury problems and things like that. Only played in 12 games for us. So I'm hoping now that he's healthy, he can, you know, do his magic in the playoffs. And if you do that, if you perform in the playoffs, then it's all worth it. doesn't matter how much you got paid or whatever. It's all worth it. We even got four goals from our central defender, Haglin. Four goals from our defensive midfielder, uh, backup striker, Rodrigo. Got four goals. Then we got, we got goals from everywhere. Every which way but loose people were scoring goals. So that's pretty good. Assist Martinez, our rookie. Possibly rookie of the year. Seven assists for us. Pretty good. This is a new one. Chances created. Look at that. Nine chances created by Delgado Martinez. So our midfield created all the chances, and that's probably the way it should be. Players of the match. Covea, Delgado. Pacheco had two. I thought Pacheco had more than that, but I guess not. Kavea and Delgado were the most. So our stats were pretty good. Average ratings. A Tim was our highest average rating. One appearance at a 7.3, and then we sent him out on loan. So good good job there. But yeah, Delgado. Michael Hector only played six games for us, but very good rating. Another good midseason pickup for us. Uh, held down our defense, especially during that, that undefeated run. Maybe he was the difference since he came into the team. We've been undefeated six games. So that's, uh, you know, it's pretty good. And next to him, Haglin, 7.3 rating. So, you know, our ratings were pretty good this season. We had some drop-off after those guys. 
I'd like to see a few more guys up there with the 7-0 ratings or above. But, you know, pretty good. All right, so now let's move on to our wild card matchup versus FC Dallas. Take a look at our opposition report. Looks like they're running that 4-2-3-1 DM wide that uh, they want us to play. Our, our assistant coach always wants us to play this. But look at this in the mid in the midfield. Yes, that is the midfield. In the midfield, they have uh, you know some problems. They got some problems, so they better be playing some Segundo Volante with these fellas. If not, then then we're gonna have a field day here down the the middle of the field. Uh, let's see. Backroom advice. Do we have any advice? They see they want us to run the four two three one DM. Not gonna happen. I recommend that we should play with standard mentality. I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking counterattack. So we're going to go with the 4123 DM wide. I think it's best for us today. Yeah, that's good. We're going to counterattack mentality. All right, everybody's okay with that. Is there anybody we need to we need to close down on Michael Barrios? Make sure to show him the weaker foot, I guess. Anybody else? Can we target Michael Barrios again? No, we already did that. He's got seven goals, nine assists for them this season, so he's a really important dude. I mean, I should know this team in and out. I played with them in the beta, so uh, they are a very good team. Uh, we'll go structured shape, I guess. Fine. All right. Assistant, you got anything to say? Fine. End the meeting. So let's go. Let's play FC Dallas. We're at FC Dallas because they were the higher rated team or they finished higher in the league standings. And here we go. Alvarez. Yeah, don't care about that. Nobody's injured. Nobody's suspended. So we got pretty much our starting lineup. And, uh, you know, no no changes, no nothing exceptional. We're going to go with with what we had in the previous previous meeting. Um, Stefan in goal. Romney back from his head injury. Roa, Hector, and Haglin holding it down in central midfield. Caldwell, Delgado, Martinez. We haven't seen the results of the uh, voting yet, so we don't know if these guys won the awards they were up for. Cavea Pacheco on the wings, and we're going to be starting Vela up top. You know, he was the difference maker in our come-from-behind win over Chicago that got us into the playoffs. So, obviously, he's our best player, so we're going to, um, you know, play him. Anyway, uh, come on, guys. Show me what you can do. Yeah, yada, yada. Let's get to the tunnel. All right. Streko Bajic from ESPNFC.com approaches you in the tunnel with a revolver. Both teams come into this one in good form. How do you rate your chances? Um, they're a very good team. We're going to relish the challenge of keeping our good form going whilst putting a dent in their aspirations. Uh -huh. So here we are, Toyota Stadium rocking the red. Everybody's out in full force. All right, Vela with the kickoff. Haglin sends it forward. Pacheco, let's see if we can make something out of this very first highlight. Pacheco looks a little shaky there. That is not a good play. Going up against Acosta, that's going to be a tough matchup down that right wing. Acosta is a very, very good defensive fullback. Even though he plays in the midfield, he plays all over. All right, here's a throw in near side. Roa to Martinez, sends it forward. Cavea couldn't get on the end of that. They got a good def central defense back there as well. Here's Delgado, tries to get it forward. Who was that at fullback? I guess I should have looked at their team a little bit more. Bonacorso. Do not know that fella. So they have upgraded their right fullback. That's uh, that was a uh, that was a weakness of this team going in, at least uh, last season for FC Dallas. Here's Delgado now for LAFC. Centers to Martinez. Martinez makes a turn, looks for Vela. Vela with the shot. Uh offsides? Yes. Offside. All right. Let's not do that too often. Here's a throw in for FC Dallas. Far side. Diaz has it. Cross into Maxa Rudy with the 
first goal of the game. We're supposed to be closing down on those dudes. What's up? Bonacorso with a long cross. I mean, Diaz, he's covered pretty closely, but Arudi just breaks free. Defense was not paying attention to Arudi, unfortunately. And we go down, but this seems to be seems to be our MO. We go down early and then we gotta fight our way back. We gotta go on the attack, we gotta get fluid, all that stuff. I mean I guess I should have learned from our mid season update to just stay fluid, but it's been it's been changing. You know, different parts of the season we've reacted poorly to going fluid, so maybe now's the time to let loose. We'll let this go for a little while, but it looks like FC Dallas is going to... Uh-oh. Here's Diaz with a corner on the near side. Sends it short. Hector is there. Hector's got a yellow card already. Boots it downfield. Martinez is going to track it down. He's got Vela blasting through the center of the field. He gets it out to him. That was a terrible pass, and Acosta intercepts. Counterattack for FC Dallas. Diaz down the far side into the box looking to cross. He makes the cross. Stefan is there for somewhat of a save, and Caldwell boots it clear. All right, so we'll wait till the 30-minute mark, and then we'll make our desperation changes. Here's a throw-in near side for Acosta in his own half. Diaz back to Acosta on the sideline. To Zimmerman. We got them trapped in their own end at the moment. Acosta sends it forward to Guezo. To Lama. This guy I didn't play much with in the beta because I traded him away. He gets it forward to Arudi. Arudi on the run. Gets tackled by Hector. You got to watch it there, Hector. You got that yellow card. Centering pass. Romney is there, though, to boot it long. Is Vela there? No, but. Delgado saves it at midfield, gets it up to Cavea. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's move the ball. Yeah, Cavea gets past one man. He's on the run, far side, looking to cross it. Veil is open. Hedges, nice play. But Delgado tracks it down and fires it wide. It's going to be tough to beat Hedges and Zimmerman back there on the back line for FC Dallas. You know, throw in Acosta, and apparently this... Benacorsa guy is pretty good. Bonacorso. So yeah, they got a stout, stout defense, and they're playing with the two central defensive midfielders. So that makes them even tougher to score on now. Coming up to that 30-minute mark. All right, we're gonna pause it. We're gonna make some tactical changes. Tactics. We're gonna go from counter. We're gonna go. Yeah, we go straight to attacking. Why mess around, right? Why delay the inevitable? Work the ball in the box. Be more expressive. We'll save the positional changes for the second half. But for now, just change our mentality. And let's go forward, boys. Let us attack. Let us hit play. Here we go. Our changes have been implemented, apparently, pretty quickly. Thirty-one minutes now. The uh, computer has to do some calculations based on those changes. And here we go. Throw in near side, or far side. Romney to Vela, Vela to Cavea, in the box back to Vela. I'm trying not to still spill my soda. Vela drops it back to Romney. To Vela centers it. Martinez is there. Takes a shot. Yes. That's a, my boy. That's our rookie. Not a rookie any longer after 30 games. He's now in his sophomore season here, and he scores a goal. I don't know what that celebration was. Some some complex hand gestures going on there. But anyway, here's the play. Vela to Romney. Back to Vela. Nice cross. Martinez. Just boots it in. Outstanding. He didn't know if he wanted to take his shirt off or run to the crowd or what he was going to do. It's still a rookie rookie celebration, I guess. He's got to, he's got to learn how to celebrate. <clears throat> do a slide or a cartwheel or something. Anyway, we tied it up. That's what's most important. We have returned to life with 33 minutes gone in the first half. 
Now, should we go back to counterattack? No, that didn't really work. Maybe drop to control. Try to control it, but I guess we stay on the attack. Like, what's what's the purpose of not going on the attack? We got a couple of yellow cards I'm concerned about. Our defensive rating is low. Roa, Haglin, Hector. Not great. But getting better, I guess. Here's a corner from Diaz. Hector heads it out. Barrios tracks it down. Did that go off his own teammate? It did. Doinked it off his own teammate's head bone. Out of bounds. All right. Bonacorso's got a yellow card for them. Otherwise, their ratings are okay. Barrios is not playing well. That's good for us. Max Arruti has got that 7-0 rating and a goal. Two minutes of stoppage time. Half is almost over. Looks like FC Dallas has gone almost exclusively down the wings. Whereas we've kind of mixed it up mostly down the right-hand side, but also some down the middle and a little bit on the left. Not much. All right. Analysis. What's up? What's up? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Pep talk. Players appear to be good spirits and look attentive. All right. All right. Just trying to decide what is the best thing to say at this point in time. Are we happy with their performance? Not particularly. Have we been the better team? Ooh, I don't know about that. Have we been unlucky? Ooh, not so sure. Pleased? Give the fans something to cheer about since these are not our fans. The way the game is set, you can go back out for the second half and play without pressure. No, no. I guess... Um, I guess I'm pleased. Keep it up. All right. That worked. Whatever. It's fine. End pep talk. Are there any tactical changes we want to make? We don't need to push our fullbacks forward until later. So we'll... Um, You know, we're not going crazy or anything. They didn't really get a ton of chances on us. Um, I, I just have the feeling that we should go control. Retain possession. I don't know that they're a real pressing, counterattacking type team. So maybe we can control the ball against them. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, here's Hedges getting it forward. Diaz has it. Sort of a lazy pass to Lama. Diaz again, another lazy pass. He is not playing well. Hagelin has it. Going to boot it forward, I suppose. Delgado is looking complacent. Don't like that, my man. Wake up. Wake up, wake up. Here we go. Throw in far side. Pacheco has it. Looking for some support. Drops it back to Roa. Caldwell centers to Delgado. Delgado to Martinez. Looking forward to Vela. Vela makes a turn around one defender. He's got his man beat. Takes a shot. Not much of a shot. Gonzalez saves that easily. That's another one of the best young goalkeepers in MLS is Gonzalez. He's another guy who got a call up to the U.S. national team after their little problem not making the playoffs. Uh, Vela looks like he picked up an injury. That's not good. Here's... FC Dallas on the attack. Reza has it past one man. Centers to Arudi. Arudi to Barrios. Oh, what a stop from Stefan. This is a real battle of two young goalkeepers. Romney with a nice tackle. Um, yeah, Vela is got hurt a little bit. He was down to 69%. Now he's coming back up. Here's FC Dallas on the attack again. Grezo centers to Barrios with a shot wide. Okay, so maybe our control game's not quite working. Here's Stefan with the goal kick. Boots it way downfield. Cross midfield. Martinez is there. The big man, the big uh, center midfielder, heads it down to Pacheco. Roa Caldwell. You know, we forget that Martinez has like 15 jumping reach and 15 heading or something crazy. Delgado gets it forward to Martinez. To Vela. Vela forward to Cavea. 
Cavea looking for some support, drops it back to Martinez. Roa comes up on the, the attack. Lama just sort of tackled uh, Pacheco into, into stunned silence. Here's Hector now. Gets it forward to Delgado. And there ends the highlight. Okay, pause. Tactics. We're going to go back on the attack. Worked. Worked second half. Or worked first half. Let's see if we can work second half. Let's go, boys. Here we go. Throw in. Far side. Roa gets it to Martinez. Chips it forward to Vela. Vela back to Martinez. Centers to Delgado. Can he make the shot? No. He airmails it into the 10th row. I guess that counts as a shot. Look at that. It's no good at all. Um, let's see. We got five shots to their six. Both of us have two on target. We got eight fouls and two yellow cards. 53% possession, though. I guess that's good. Keeps them from having possession. I don't like that Delgado is the... Ah, Haglin, 6.4 rating. Hector, 6.5 with a yellow card. We might have to take one... Or both of those guys out of there. Probably can't take them both out. All right. Subs. I really don't want to take Hector out. I really don't want to take Roa out. But they got them dang old yellow cards. You know, we could take both of our central defenders out, bring in Watts and Okogu, but that sounds like a bad idea. Sounds like something I don't want to do. Um, we got Tejeda coming in off the bench. He could add us a little bit of firepower there on the left-hand side. You know, it's not like Kavea's playing poorly, but he's not, he's not doing anything for us at the moment. I think Watts right now is our only sure sub And we're, uh, I don't want to take out Hector, but he's got that yellow card. Okay, I'm going to bet on the partnership. Haglin Watts played together all season long. They've got a connection. They've got some partnership going on. Watts is our team captain. Bringing him off the bench, he can do it. He's our guy. He's our, he's our man. All right. Um... And then just Tejeda for Kavea, just, I don't know, it seems right. I'm going to use the force on this one. I'm going to trust my instincts and make those two subs. Hopefully I don't regret it. I don't like that Delgado is complacent, but I don't have a lot of options for him. I could maybe bring a Koga in for him. If we score a goal, maybe I'll do that, but for now we kind of need Delgado in there for his offensive ability, his ability to just sort of sneak into the box and score a goal. All right, throw in for FC Dallas. Coleman has it. Uh, Guerrezo gets in front of goal, but his shot is well wide. It wasn't bad defense. You know, it's not like there was any big breakdown. It's just uh, scary is all. All right. FC Dallas, how you looking? Bonacorso has got some problems going on there. 63% yellow card. He's at a 7.4 rating with an assist, though. They just made all three of their subs, Barrios, Arudi, and Diaz, their top three players all out in for Hollingshead, Reynolds, and Coleman. I mean, they got good subs. They got a good, good depth here. We are in stoppage time here. Four minutes of stoppage time left. One minute to go. Watts with the steal. Gets it down to Vela. Vela to Martinez. Oh, Martinez is tripped at midfield. But Caldwell is there. Gets it to Pacheco. Pacheco forward to Vela. Vela, Vela in on goal. There it is. Wow. What a turnaround. We went from no hope. 90 minutes of nothing. At least 45 minutes of nothing. And then Vela... What a steal. It starts at the beginning here with Caldwell with the great save to Pacheco and then nice pass to Vela. And then it's just Vela being better than, than everybody. Nice play. Nice finish. There's our guy. There's our superstar. 
Here we go. We just got to hold them off. I probably should have went to counterattack or something. Let's pause. Uh, let's shout from the sideline. Hey, you dummies. Hey, dummies. Counterattack. Be more disciplined. Uh, be more structured. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right, play. Here's FC Dallas. Nope, no good. Watts is there. Watts might have been the big change. Martinez. Ugh, bad pass from Martinez. Lamar has it out wide, centers it. But Stefan is there. They've taken out their number one striker. But here they are. One minute to go. Lamar centers it in, but Roa boots it downfield. Good man. Nice play. Hedges has to chase it all the way back to his, his uh, side of the field here. Almost his goal box. Zimmerman gets it forward. Machado has it. Gruezo sends it forward, but Romney is there to intercept Tejeda. I like Tejeda's work rate. Oh, Reynolds tries to get it back, but no, there's Watts. There's our man, our captain. Playing that stout defense on the back line. Romney also playing very well, booting it forward. Vela all alone against five defenders. Drops it back for Pacheco. 30 seconds to go. Martinez, Delgado. Out wide, near side to Tejeda. Let's see what he can do with it. Centers all the way to Martinez. We are just playing it slow now. FC Dallas is putting minimal pressure on us. Pacheco looking to make a move around his man. Gets tackled again, Acosta. we got to keep it away from Acosta. There's Hollingshead. Boots it forward to Vela, can he? He does. He does it. Does it count? Is he onside? I don't see a flag. I don't see a flag. Assist by Hagland. Wow, that's it. 3-1. Acosta. I mean, that was a decent pass, but Hagland with a great pass. And then nobody even expected. I think the goalkeeper thought he was offside because he didn't react to that shot at all. And there's our big man, Vela. Not our big man, I guess our main man. Vela coming through in the second half with two goals. Look at that. Two goals in extra time to win it. Wow. Unbelievable. Look at that. Playoff victory. That one is for the supporters. It's too bad we couldn't have done this at home. You know, this is what we've been building this team towards. Success in the playoffs. This is what we're all about. It took a while for us to come together and gel, but we've done it. Dang nabbit, we have done it. Two goals and an assist from Vela, player of the match. A guy who all season, we saw his stats, very underwhelming for the regular season. But this is why you bring in superstars, is to play big matches, score goals at big times. And that's exactly what Vela did. Nice, nice job. All right, pep talk, pep talk. Here we go. Very pleased with the result. End the pep talk. Let's get out of here. Let's celebrate. Yes. Very, very happy with that outstanding wild card victory. Advance to the semifinal win. Superior finishing provides the cutting edge for LAFC. That's right. Flamboyant striker Carlos Vela. Put LAFC in front after 92 minutes with an accurate finish from inside the penalty kick area. You need to come up with a flashier name than that. The red zone. <laughs> LAFC fans might have been forgiven for thinking that it would have been that, but for but the scoring wasn't over. What is that sentence? Anyway, uh, an error from Kellen Acosta allowed Vela to score a simple finish from close in. That is a bit of an oversimplification right there. I mean, uh, you know, Acosta made a nice steal, booted it downfield. How was he to know that our central defender, Haglin, was going to come up with a play like that? And then he gets injured, apparently, bruised shin. That was a heck of a 
kick, such such a powerful kick that he bruised himself. Let's see, Carlos Vela impresses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So that was outstanding victory. We're on to the next round of the playoffs. Uh, I guess uh, we'll find out who we play in the next round next episode. I just want to keep these rolling and see if we can uh, continue the momentum. So until next time, we'll find out who we play in the Western Conference semifinals. That'll be a two-leg affair, not none of this one-game knockout wild card stuff, but proper playoffs. In the MLS Western Conference semifinals, where we'll probably face Portland, but you never know. All right, so until then, until next time, we'll see you later. Bye bye.